Um, so our interim president and CEO is Roberta Engel, and she is the CFO, um, so we'll move into the acting role. She's been with Real for close to six years and um, has been really instrumental in some of the work that we've done already. And so um, she has graciously stood up and accepted the interim position. Can you elaborate a little bit more on the qualifications that Ms. Engel has that are good for this role? Not to echo Councillor Vanzarelli's concerns over the board or anything, but um, yeah, if you could elaborate a little bit more on that. So to be clear, she's not a board member. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah. yeah. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I would say she is the current CFO um, and so uh, already has um, a lot of leadership both at the city. She worked at the city um, prior to coming to Real. She's an accountant. She's been instrumental um, in the work that's been done to date, um, bringing the budget forward, um, the administrative MNP report that um, the city brought forward and so we felt it was really important as a board that um, the interim leader be someone that has familiarity with the organization and the skills to kind of follow follow through in this interim period. Mm -hmm. yeah. So was the, the dismissal for cause or I, I just want to understand how the, the, the vote uh, No, the board uh, made the decision to release him without cause. Again, there's no immediate um, changes that I can speak to as a board. What I would probably say is that um, looking forward, city administration has been tasked with bringing council a report forward um, by the end of June 2024, and that report will have recommendations on potential future options for what real looks like, what real does. And so um, I would predict that there will be really important information, research, and considerations there that will help guide future decisions about real. What would you say, I apologize, mm -hmm. what would you say the reason behind the you know, change is? What reason was given to, for the change? Um, I think I, I already um, talked about it earlier. So again, to be clear, um, Tim Reed was released without cause. And we know that we need to make changes with real. Um, there's financial issues. I think that even a better um, agreement and understanding of what real does, what real doesn't do, um, we felt that, especially because we know that there's a new interim board, um, it would also be beneficial to have new leadership at the helm. How much time was left on Mr. Reed's contract? Uh, actually, I don't know off the top of my head. What does compensation look like? Um, th that's confidential and private for um, for Mr. Reed, and so we can't answer that question. There are rumors out there that uh, some events are in jeopardy, specifically the Farm Progress Show. Can you speak to any of that at this time? I would like to reassure um, every um, event holder, every person that's planning on coming to an event, that our number one consideration is making sure that all of the planned events run well. Um, a lot of the events, frankly, rely on both uh, other partners and we have significant expertise in our operational staff and we will continue to rely on them to do the good work that they have always been doing. Yeah, I, I guess I had a related question about uh, what message does this uh, send about uh, the stability of the organization to your outside partners, that sort of thing? Um, I think, I wouldn't say I think, I hope the message is that as the interim board, we're prepared to make the changes that we think will best offer the organization a positive path forward. Um, and I think that there's probably been questions about stability at least over the past year as real grapples with, um, you know, some financial issues, I would say some uh, reputational credibility. And so I would hope that this actually sends um, a message that as, as the interim board, we're committed to doing what we feel is in the best interest of the organization um, to put it in a positive place.
was it just financial reasons for, for the change or were there other reasons as well the board felt Tim Reed uh, needed to be removed? Um, like again, I'll reiterate without cause and so it I would say it's strategic, uh, financial, operational, really the board has been tasked with looking at all of those things for real and so it really is just a total refresh um, of, of the future of the organization. With the review around Tim Reed and stuff, people are going to be wondering, are events still being planned in the city or is there, there going to be a, a dark period for where there's not going to be concerts or anything or anything like that going on? What's, so what's the board doing to ensure events will still be coming to Regina as this transition process occurs? Thank you. I would say that in general the board um, has more of a strategic than an operational responsibility and so frankly it's ensuring that the staff continue um, you know in their current role both in securing new events and executing on the existing events. Why should this move encourage public confidence in this organization? I think it will take time frankly to encourage public confidence. I mean it's in frankly the results of what we do, not just saying it. Um, and again, I would just say that um, as an interim board, we're, we're committed to making changes that we think will all positively impact the organization. Uh, for Frost, I guess, does this have any impact on the, the, the upcoming festival? Uh, you know, it's, it's at the end of the month, so I wanted to check about that. Uh, absolutely not. Frost is 10 days away. Um, there's been regular meetings. It is really a community uh, held event and um, we have been very cognizant of making sure that it it runs and that it runs well um, and we're super excited about it and super excited that we have snow. Dismissal without cause is very ambiguous. And you mentioned a number of things, strategic, uh, other issues. A bit more specific, what were his failures? What caused your board to dismiss him? And then he was very ambiguous without cause. So basically, no one's no one's getting any blame. Was it his questionable behavior, conflict of interest? Was he overrunning budgets? No, I would say that the definition of um, letting an employee go without cause is that there is no action that they took that that caused us to release him. And so you can have strategic operational differences. You can decide to take an organization in a different direction um, and not have that be an employee doing something with cause. So that's why I'm, I'm reiterating that he was released without cause. Did he sign a non-disclosure agreement? Pardon me? Did he sign a non-disclosure agreement to speak to the press or anything? Or I would say, again, respecting Mr. Reed's confidentiality as media, you have obviously full um, ability to reach out to Mr. Reed and, and he will uh, do what he sees fit. Thank you. What can you tell us about the new uh, incoming CEO? Um, uh, so again, I did talk about that. Her name is Roberta Engel. She is a CFO currently and has stepped up in the acting role, um, has been with Real for close to six years. How long before you expect to have someone permanent in place? No date in mind, but again, I would point to the report that will be going to council um, in the end of June. And one of the things that they did ask administration to provide was a skills matrix of a future board. And so, uh, you know, I would say as we move forward um, and if we're looking for a new CEO, a better understanding of the future of what RIA looks like will help articulate really the skills and abilities that, that RIA would want in their future permanent CEO. You mentioned there's a report uh, heading to council, I guess, about the with recommendations for RIA's future. Uh, is there a timeline on when that will come before council? Uh, deadline is end of Q2, so end of June 2024. Yeah, and um, tasked with having recommendations in that report. 
what are the biggest issues facing real right now? Um, I would say obviously there's uh, financial concerns and I would say conversations with the city about um, like fairness and equity because you know it's, it has been brought up before that real does community events that don't make money and they're they're good for the community so I would say that um, real needs to sort out finances I would say real needs to um, have an alignment with council on the identity and the purpose of what it delivers I think that there's probably a credibility um, and reputational um, identity um, that could use some improving and again I would imagine that from a staff perspective um, it can be a scary place to be when there's a lot of change and uncertainty in an organization so just ensuring frankly that we're making uh, the staff who are here feel valued and as much as possible keeping them as informed as we can any other questions in what role are you speaking to us today? I know you've worn two hats. Um, well, it would, I think I tried to be clear about, I am, I am here today as the interim um, chair of the real board. When there were questions asked specifically about the city council report, um, I would answer as that. Um, and again, I know that there has been some, um, uh, you know, speculation about kind of the the dual role and um, I would again reiterate that it is um, uh, possible and not problematic to actually hold both and that in many ways the city of Regina and the real organization should have complementary and aligned purpose outcomes goals. We have time for one more question is there anything else from the floor? Okay, great. Thank you. Thanks Thank so you much, everyone. Here. I appreciate it.